Nothing yet? Ugh. God, I just want to get something before Holden's case goes to trial. We're just sitting around here. The clock is ticking. Well, we can't afford to rush it, Margo. Whatever we get on TV this time has to be good, really good, after that last stunt that Jack well, that was a pretty good stunt. He got Teague to confess on tape. A tape that nobody can find and which probably would have been thrown out of court anyway. No, we need something solid, something clean. Hey, have you talked to him, Jack? About what? About Holden's case going to trial today. He's on medical leave. Besides, I thought the family would get in touch with him. Well, I don't think they have. Otherwise, he'd be here making trouble. Well, maybe Jack figured the best thing he can do for Holden right now is to stay as far away from this trial as possible. The insurance claims on Officer Morgan have been submitted. The paperwork for the Stenbeck transfer has been copied. And here's your file for the Snyder trial. Anything else you need? Uh, no. Wow. That's enough. And nice. don't forget to call the commissioner. I won't. I promise. That was so great. What an efficient little temp. Wow. Things have been moving so smoothly around here ever since. Don't say it. You know, sir, I was just kind of wondering, were you thinking of hiring her on permanently? That all depends. On? On Carly. On Carly. Mm-hmm. So you're really expecting her to come back? I mean, will she just stop coming to work one day without a word to anyone? She probably has her reasons for doing what she's doing. Oh, my goodness, that's cryptic. Care to elaborate? No. You think she's going to waltz in here one morning? Like nothing has happened? I don't know, Margo, but if she does, and if she wants her job back, it's going to be waiting for her. It's, it's all. And you, Hal, will you be waiting for her? Margo. All right, all right. Oh, no, no. I mean, you can ask whatever you want. It's just that I don't know what the answer to that question is. I mean, it depends on how long she's gone, what she says when she comes back. You know, it really has been going great together, the two of us. Well, yeah, I figured. We're even talking about the future. So what happened? Beats the hell out of me. You know, at the first I thought maybe I pushed her, you know, by, you know, by telling her how I felt. Maybe she wasn't feeling the same way about me. Yeah, I know. But I wasn't kidding myself. I mean, she has to be feeling some of what I'm feeling. I mean, we were too good together. We were having too much fun. But Hal, where is she? I wish I knew. I'm sorry. You really do care, don't you? Afraid so. Thanks. Okay. I'm gonna get back to those surveillance tapes on Teague. They're boring, strangely unsatisfying. Something, something, something. <sighs> Lucinda? And Ben? Lucinda, and you can bring Ben with you. I'm assuming that you had no idea that we planted a bug in Teague's house and everything you just said was pumped directly to the station. Now you have a choice. You can either come out or I contact Teague and he presses breaking and entering charge. Just come out if you're both of you right now. Hey, I'll go first. Oh, I, I know how God odd this sakes. looks. Lucinda, you, you know, I've come to expect there. this I, kind I, of I, behavior from you, but you, look, Ben. I can explain. No, you can't. Do you have any idea how much trouble you're both in? Nonsense. Everybody knows it. Teague is guilty. And breaking and entering like this can bring down a case against him like that, Lucinda. Look, come on, but look what we found. Evidence right there in that closet. It's an orderly uniform from Memorial Hospital. He's been sneaking around there. Now, why would he be doing that? I'll tell you why. Because after he beat up Molly Conlon, he wanted to check up on her. And everybody else that he hurt in that fire. Everything he says is right. This is the evidence that you need. No, it's not. This is a uniform. Everything else is pure speculation. This is not evidence. Oh, come on. You got to... 
at least admit that it's strange that he would have this in his closet. It's a disguise, It's a Margo. disguise, isn't it? It looks like a uniform that maybe he wore to a costume party. Or maybe oh. he's into dressing up kinky. It is not <laughs> evidence. Even if it is, it is gathered illegally. Now, can we get out of here before no, T comes in and I'm the real muck hits here. the fan? I'm, Lucinda, I'm not leaving here until I find something, until I get what I came for. Do you for? want me to put handcuffs on you? Because I'd really like to. Margot, darling, the, the, the Oakdale police have behaved shamefully through all this. Shamefully, ever since Jack Snyder was thrown off the it case. It is a conflict of interest. Hal doesn't want to risk the appearance of prejudice. Oh, right. another, yeah. another excuse. Jack Snyder found yeah. something and now he's Leave gone. I'm sitting here arguing with you. So come and help us. I Let's have been look. very, very clear about how illegal this is. Benjamin, will you get her out of here right now because you're just a heartbeat away from resisting arrest. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, okay. Margo's right. Come on, let's go. At least we've got something to go okay, on. Oh, you've got right. nothing to go wait, 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 on. Wait, whoa, whoa. What are you what doing? Are you doing? Come on, Margo. 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 Not going to write you up, but Lucinda, you stay away from this case. Thank you, Margo. Today, Holden's trial begins, and he's particularly vulnerable, and I feel the police have done nothing, and they're prosecuting the wrong guy. That's right. And that bug that we planted in Teague's house, that's just us being a bunch of bumbling idiots and not knowing who the bad guy is. This is your last warning. Listen to me very clearly. What you did today is illegal. If you would do it again, I will book you. Is that understood? Don't worry about me. I understand. I'm cool. We're cool. We'll just do whatever we have to do. Right. Thank you, Marco. What are those two doing here? You don't want to know. Try me. Uh, they're here to express their concerns about the way Holden's case is being handled. Lucinda and Ben together? Um, frustration makes for strange bedfellows. They want you to put Jack back on the case. Well, that's not gonna happen. I told them that. But nothing is happening here. And with Holden's case going to trial, there is gonna be a rush to judgment. Mark my words. I hope you're wrong. And if I'm not? Then Holden goes to jail. Look, Margo, I have to believe that the truth will come out eventually. Some piece of evidence which will prove conclusively that Teague is the one who was responsible for that fire. But it is not going to help Holden's case one bit if Jack is the one who finds it. God knows what Teague would do if Jack even got close. <laughs>